Okay, I decided to do this supplemental video uh, because I, I think that my response to the buyer was sufficient to explain the difference between a garment style uh, leather piece that's it's 100% leather but it's it's processed in a way uh, and and designed in a way that it's significantly thinner than the sew off piece here that we had done on the original video. Let me show you what I mean and realize this as I rotate this around that right here on the top of this edge you're really looking at two layers of this garment material because it's folded back to finish off this edge. Now look at it uh, comparatively to the sew off piece that I did in the video and that was my point exactly is that uh, even with two layers of garment material which is what you're seeing on the top there the sew off piece that I did in the video was two and a half to three times uh, thicker probably you know even a little bit more than that but I'm being conservative so that's why uh, oftentimes we will do one sew off piece like this and it really does represent the capacity of this machine to go through multiple layers of, uh, of thinner garment style leather probably anywhere from three to five but with that said I wanted to still uh, show that this machine is capable of even doing two layers of, uh, of this very thick original leather sew off so that's what we're gonna do let me set this to the side and uh, these are our two sample pieces right here you can see uh, that they are uh, unbelievably thick like the original sew off uh, look at that, I mean that is ridiculously thick and when you compare it to the garment style thickness let me see if I can hold it up here to give you an idea again you're looking at two layers of garment leather right there look at the difference so you're probably looking at six to eight layers at least of garment material that we're going to be going through so let me set this to the side and go ahead and follow me down to the needle and I'll show you what this amazing FOF 130 can do even with thickness like this and I'm gonna apply that hyperextension just to make it that much easier to get this underneath the presser foot alright presser foot down and here we go two unbelievably thick pieces of genuine cowhide How was that? And I started out slow sewing off with that. Unbelievable. Look at that. And again, remember the thickness of garment style leather. And I'll show it to you again. I think it's important just so that you can see it once we go with a side view of it. Look at that from the side. That is two thicknesses of unbelievably uh, thick cowhide leather. We turn it around check out that lock-in stitch it doesn't get any better than that and again look at the thickness from the side and I'll show it to you from the end as well let me rotate this around look at that and now look at this garment style leather which again we're looking at two layers see how that's folded back right here you're looking at two layers of garment material look at that comparatively so that's why I say if you see us doing this is our original sew off right here that's our original sew off if you see us doing a single layer like this take into account that it represents a lot more because of the grade of leather and the thickness of leather that we choose but just to demonstrate again our confidence in the machines look at those side by side I wish you all the best in bidding We've got a lot of watchers out there, so if you're determined to win this amazing FOF 130, again, because of the way we service our machines, realize that one FOF 30 uh, is not comparable to this machine because of the way we prepare them. So, uh, you know, don't say, well, if I miss this one, I'll just get another one. You're looking at apples and oranges. So I wish you the best in bidding. Again, look at these three layers together uh, as far as what we sewed off initially this one and then these right here so the best in bidding and thanks so much for your interest